Hi everyone, it's Graham Johnson, and today I'd like to provide a very quick tutorial to show you how to install the Embedded Python Molecular Viewer, that's EPMV, in Cinema 4D version 13 and version 12. Um, this is our Mac-specific instructions, but transferable to the other architectures. So, to begin with, check out epmv.scripts.edu on your browser. That's epmv.scripts.edu. And there are descriptions and tutorials and all sorts of details, but today we are here to follow the standalone installer instructions. And we've already installed Cinema 4D, which is described above. So we're going down to the C4D specific instructions. And we begin with by downloading the Macintosh version, which contains everything you need for both versions 12 and versions 13. Just click there and let that download get started. Then we need you to launch Cinema 4D, which I have open here, and go to Edit, Preferences, and the trouble is, in Mac OS Lion, they've hidden the user preference folders, so uh, the entire library, actually. So the easiest way to get there is by following these steps. So that's Edit User Preferences and click this Open Preferences folder. That takes you straight there, and you can see that this library folder is dimmed. That's because it's hidden by default with uh, Operating System 10.7 and above on a Mac. So figure out which Cinema 4D version you're using. I've got folders here for both 13 and 12. I open that, and I open the Plugins folder, and pretend this EPMV doesn't already exist. I go to my Downloads folder, where I've extracted the archive, and it creates this folder called EPMV hyphen Mac, and in there I just want to grab the EPMV folder and drag it directly into the plugins folder in my Cinema 4D preference folder. And you can do the same for version 12. Again, you just grab that same folder, and if you wanted to do duplicate version like this from a single download, you would just hold Option, so I've got the plus icon on my dragging tab and drag it into PMV, uh, into plugins folder. It's that simple. You can then go and quit Cinema 4D and when you restart You go under, in version 13, you go under Plugins, and you can see the EPMV icon there, and just load it. And there are instructions on how to get started, but for starters, just click Fetch on the default one CRN. It'll take a few seconds longer for yours to load because you don't have it cached already, and just start exploring the various buttons. I'll quit that, show you version 12. Here you go under Python plugins and find EPMV sitting there. And when you load it, you've got the exact same interface. And again, just start clicking around, generating different representations to get started. Now the most common problem people have with installation is that they take the entire contents of the extracted folder, that's this folder called epmv-mac, and they try to copy that into plugins and wonder why it doesn't work. You need to just take the folder from inside of there that's just called epmv, drag that in, and you're ready to go. Thank you.